have the uh, linear uh, rail on the y-axis uh, you'll notice that the um, 20 tooth pulleys have been um, installed here with uh, 5 mm uh, comb washers and these are new brackets uh, which have got some extra height on them uh, to compensate for the extra height of the linear rail and what I did was I, I measured um, each side to centre the rail on this uh, Y axis and then held it in place. And you'll also notice that there's a new Y carriage it's not plastic it's aluminium um, installed there as well. This is now very very smooth in terms of Y um, and looking around the back here um, we've got new motor brackets uh, on the Y axis again to compensate for the extra height as well as um, a 5mm bolt which goes through here holding the 20 tooth pulleys on there with uh, again 5mm um, washers, uh, washer spacers so that's the upgrade done. I didn't have to uh, use a new um, waste stop bracket here for the end stop it, um, it's fine in terms of the height works well um, so that's in operation now the other thing that was done is um, you can't see it on that side so let's look here you'll see that the um, stepper motors are now fitted with these anti-vibration dampeners and what I needed to do was I needed to with the 3mm um, M3 bolts which are 10mm I had to cut off about 2 to 3 millimeters off the length in order to um, uh, use them to hold that bracket into the stepper motor and that's made a bit of a difference as well, as well. so all the stepper motors now have those on and um, the linear upgrade here has been done the next video is going to cover a new linear rail for the um, x-axis um, which will also involve a new bracket here um, on the on the carriage which will hold a E3D hot end um, with a uh, capacitive inductive sensor using glass and PEI sheet so that's coming up next